Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Nick, we're on the Atari 2600 and looking at a rather classic game called Frogger. It was in the arcades by Konami in 1981. This conversion I believe was by Parker Brothers the year later in 1982. Essentially, if you're unfamiliar with Frogger, which uh, I'm sure isn't the case, you must guide a frog from one side of the screen to another in one of those blue bays at the top. So first crossing the road and then crossing the river. If you get run over by a car, you will get splattered. If you go into the river, you will get splattered because uh, frogs can't swim. Uh, yeah, we all know that. And um, yes, and uh, sometimes there's a timer, but I can't see it ticking up there. It's still on zero. So we'll see how we get on. There will also be the, well, cross the road. There will also be occasional snakes and alligators we have to avoid. And if you go into a bay up the top there, where a frog's already in that, you will die. Right, here we go. So we're going to get in that bay at the end. Boom. So there we go. So you see what to do there. One, two, three, five bays. We're already in one. I find the bays on the top left a bit more difficult to get into. So we're racing away. My aim for this review is just to get off stage one by completing all the frogs in all the bays. I don't know if I'll do that. And then the next stage you've got more traffic and um, more stuff to kill you. Now you notice going across here you've got logs to jump on. Uh, there's sometimes there's a frog or a spider on the log that will kill you and sometimes there's some blue things and I think that means they're turtles which will dive under the water at any point um, so you can only stay on there a brief amount of time at your own peril right two done this is going well well done Parker Brothers we have reviewed, um, well, Frogger come out on every system imaginable, really. I have, the only other Frogger game I've reviewed, I think, was on the ZX Spectrum, which wasn't quite as good as this one, but there is lots and lots of different versions. And I think um, that there is a Frogger 2 available on the Atari A2600. So let me know, is that is that different, or does it play roughly the same? Got a nice feel to it, this one. Um, we're doing quite well here. Not bad going. Hopefully I'll get off stage one, but I can't guarantee it. I don't know why this frog can't swim. I want to see some alligator. Well, there's an alligator attacking that bay in the top left there. If you go into the bay when he's there, you will die. The Atari 2600, of course, uh, was a console in, um, or a games machine in 1977. This five years later. Huge hit in the arcades and huge hit on computer systems as well. The basic games always work the best, I think, with these early systems. It's not trying to attempt loads. But there's a lot moving on the screen at the same time. That four lanes of traffic is quite good. And also four, uh, essentially four lanes on the river as well. Uh, logs move in different directions on this river, but that's Frogger for you. Let's see how far up we can get now. Uh, we have started reviewing um, Atari 2600 games very recently. Um, people, so I hope you're enjoying those. If you owned the system back in the day or just... Uh, um, a fan of retro stuff. You've already been telling me what your favourite games, so we'll have you looking at those. The, the back catalogue of Atari games is a lot smaller than ZX Spectrum Commodore 64, but important to look at because they do have a feel all of their own. So hopefully it's bringing back a bit of retro goodness to you, which is what the channel is all about. It's all about having a bit of fun, easing stress, and um, sharing memories, which is good. It's a good thing. Community spirit, that's what I say. So how are we doing this frog? We need to get the one at the end, which is the trickiest one to get. Will we do it? Uh, I, need, I need a bit of luck here. There's a crocodile in the way. The was right. Come on. That timing is wrong, I think. Yeah, yes, we've done it. Good stuff. There's an alligator going across there, you can see. Don't jump on an alligator. Right, so stage two. There is more traffic now going in lots of different directions. And more alligators up the top there, which will gobble you up. I never played the um, the arcade game by Konami, but I presume this plays roughly the same. I think that's a little bit more colourful. I think it is. Let me know about that. And also about Frogger 2 as well. Is that what I'm looking at, or is that actually a rip-off? Lots of good arcade games to look at here that the Atari tried. I think there's Defender and Defender 2. Uh, asteroids. I've been told Pac-Man is not that good, um, so it might be interesting to have a look at that one. So, what was your biggest? If you're uh, if you've got quite a lot of knowledge of the games on this system, because I'm just gradually discovering them, 
Um, if there's any really bad games that disappointed you, let me know about those as well, because it's all about looking at the good games, the classic games, and, and the poor games too. Um, I know a lot of people might mention E.T., which ended up as Landfill, I think, but uh, uh, we, we might have a look at that at some point. Might be tough getting a full video out of it, but um, from historical purposes, might be good having a look. I don't know if that's going to make the new one as my worst game ever reviewed. At the moment, that's Jack and the Beanstalk, I think, on the ZX Spectrum. Come on, Froggy! Oops, oh dear, run over here. Yeah, I'm interested in the colour palette on the Atari 2600. I mean, it isn't too dissimilar from the Commodore 64, is it? The shades of this? Maybe it's my imagination, but it does seem that way. Duh, duh, duh. I'm dead. There's a snake going across there. So that saves you dawdling around. Well worth another go, this one. So I got off stage one. Stage two is a bit tricky for me. Good old Parker Brothers, good old Konami. Nice music as well. It's, it's nice music, it makes you think what could possibly go wrong. But the, the traffic is quite pedestrian uh, in this first bit, so it's nothing like um, Horace Goes Skiing, if you're familiar with that game. Um, okay, right. Yes, it's all about timing, which, uh, yeah, sometimes you can get away with it going on the other side of the screen. Maybe it's just the first two logs you can do that. Boom, that's one. One done. Excellent stuff. Do you like this game or does Frogger frustrate you completely? Or is there anything else? I mean, there's lots and lots of Frogger clones. Let me know what your favourite one is on any system, not just uh, systems I've reviewed on or cover. Let me know on all of them. So I, I don't know how many different versions of Frogger there are. There must be literally hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. There's those blue turtles going across. We won't worry about them. Come on, Frog. Uh, go across the next bit. That's good. Oh, there's a frog next to us. Could have killed us. Frogs are quite evil things. I don't know why I died then. Perhaps the the the, uh, the log, went, log went underwater, did it? I don't know. Ding, 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 ding. Din, 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 din. Uh, we're on the road to nowhere. Quite a calming game, this, actually. I think a lot of the Atari games be quite calming. It's one of those ones where a kid could be in a room and all you could hear was beep, beep and odd, odd sounds every now and again. Nice and gentle, this. It's like a, it's, it's, it's a puzzle game, really, isn't it? Um... A graphic is going gradually up the screen, timing on different obstacles, get to the top. What could be more simpler than that? It's nice, gentle, simple gameplay uh, going back to a time long gone. Well, hopefully revived, because Retro is really big, isn't it? It's huge. So it doesn't matter if you just live through the era or seeing the gameplay later on. It's, a, it's an era where you didn't have to worry about downloading updates uh, or, or saves or DLCs, you can just play it for as long as you wanted and then turn it off and that's it. Uh, there's no online feature, it didn't dominate your life. Uh, so it gave you a good a good balance as a kid. Now, no doubt there were kids that played it for hours and hours and hours, but um, different times. I always say on retro, the things that you class as retro are the games you play when growing up. So uh, no doubt kids born today will think uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One is retro. Uh, uh, and, um, you know, that's the way it goes. God, uh, if they think that's retro, what are they going to be playing when they get to, like, um, my age? Probably it's all going to be virtual reality, isn't it? And looking at a screen would be something that seems really alien. But let's get back to Frogger. 8-bit glory, and this is 8-bit. A good game overall, I'm glad. No one actually recommended playing this game, the few people have commented so far. I don't know if you, you like Frogger or you find it a bit iffy, but I think this is a good conversion. I'm impressed with this. It impresses me much. I don't think Shania Twain was impressed with it, but I am. Get there? No, I'm down. Timing is wrong. Timing is wrong. We'll call this the last go. I won't be playing this for hours. I think we've pretty much seen how it plays. We got off the first level, which is good. So across the road, four lanes of traffic, then across the river... Um, lanes of logs and turtles going across, jumping on them, just like being a real frog, really. And then to the next stage, and it gets progressively more difficult. Beep, beep, beep. Right, are we going to do it on here? Need a bit of luck. Need a bit of luck. No. Need a bit of luck and need a bit of timing as well. 
Probably more more luck. No, probably more timing than luck. To be fair, I think this might be my last frog. And then it's Doomsville or to Frog Heaven or wherever we go. Oh man, why is there a frog on that one? So you can go up or down. You have to go straight up in one go. Right, need a bit of luck here again. Well, so, I was talking about luck a lot, don't I? It's my excuse. I was an alligator in the way now. Right, we're going to get this. There is a timing. These logs are coming on setting. Well, that's it. No. No. Oh, I run out of I run out of skills there. Right, this is my last frog. You see, there's no white dots down the uh, bottom left there, which indicates how many lives you've got left. So this is it. It's now or never on this um, this road to victory or or disaster. Yes, disaster. Dud 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 dud. I really like this game. I really like this. Um, this is a good introduction to Atari 2600 games. Good stuff. So, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was a Frogger on the Atari, of course, by Parker Brothers in 1982, based on the arcade cabinet by Konami from 1981. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. A huge thank you to everyone that's have subscribed so far, helped the channel grow. If you haven't already, and you're liking what you're seeing and want it to continue, please consider subscribing, because it really helps the channel uh, a lot. If you want to help it a bit more, this patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit really does help. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.